Hi everybody, it's Gina and I wanted to share my summer solstice altar with you. Summer solstice is actually tomorrow. I'm preparing this the day before so that I'll be ready. And summer solstice is the longest day of the year. So we're going to be having a lot of sunshine and the colors for summer solstice rightly so would be things like reds and yellows and oranges to kind of symbolize the Sun so the flowers that I picked here these actually came from my garden and these are blanket flowers and you can see the deep rich colors of the reds and yellows in there and these grow wild in my garden I also have some red, some candles, and this one is a red floating candle in the shape of a flower. And I do have another candle that's sitting in some pink Himalayan salt, but it, at times it does have hues of orange, so that's why I kept it here for this purpose. I also have a yellow candle burning here and I have another red one burning right here. I do have a few crystals in reds, yellows and oranges that I have in a leaf shaped plate right here and I have a sunstone and I'm going to show you what those are. This is a a sunstone this is peacock ore and this is very pretty let me pick it up and I can show it to you it's got so many different hues going on I hope the color is coming across but that is peacock ore I have some yellow calcite I've got some honey calcite and this piece right here that is carnelian of course I have a piece of clear quartz which helps to amplify the energies of all of the crystals that are in there I also have a grid that's set up here in the center there is a clear quartz tower which has seven pieces of clear quartz that go out from the center which is a in the center is a quartz pyramid and then around it I have three pieces of citrine I also have a piece of pyrite and in between the outer stones I have a double terminated piece of quartz Okay, so I did not have sunflowers in time this year for the summer solstice, but I do have a painting that I did. This is actually a sand painting that I did of some sunflowers. I can zoom in close for you to see it. It's all made of sand. So I have the painting of the, sa the sunflowers on one side. And on the other side, I have another painting. Some very, very vivid. This is actually like a, a three-dimensional. If I can zoom in close so you can see. So because I didn't have any sunflowers and I had these two beautiful paintings, I decided I'd just go ahead and incorporate them into my summer solstice altar. So me if I can give you a view of where I have them so there's a paint one painting there's the altar and then there's the sand painting of the sunflowers on the other side Now these reds, yellows, and oranges are also the colors of creativity. We 
know, red being associated with passion as well. So tomorrow would be a perfect day to harvest the power of the sun. Everything that you're going to be attempting. Any kind of projects that you've got going on. Your gardening, farming. Any kind of creative work that you're going to be doing. But I just wanted to share that with you. Thanks for watching. And... Uh, if you're new to my channel you will see videos like this in addition to painting and lots of other creative work I would invite you to join my family simply by clicking the red subscribe button below and if you do a summer solstice altar go ahead and just leave me a comment that way I will see your link and I will go ahead and just check your channel out as well and see what you're going to be doing to celebrate the summer solstice. For my returning supporters, thank you so much for being here again. I truly appreciate your support and I will see you all again real soon.